Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we started a new chapter yesterday, Revelations chapter 21. Remember chapter 20 ended with the great white throne judgment when all the dead of all the ages stand before God at the end of the thousand year reign of Christ and they're judged out of the books that are open according to their works that will determine their punishment in the lake of fire for eternity because at the end of the millennium eternity begins eternity begins time will be no more at the end of the millennium and that's what we read about in revelation 21 we go from time to eternity now i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away and there was no more sea then i john saw the holy city new jerusalem coming down out of heaven from god prepared as a bride adorned for her husband and then god's dwelling with man verse 3 and verse 4 he's wiping away every tear for the former things former things have passed away and then in verse 5 a very clear verse then he who sat on the throne said behold i make all things new and he said to me and that voice Voice, that voice of God said to John, Write, for these words are true and faithful. You can depend on what's being said right now. It is a fact. It will come to pass. And my friend, we are looking forward to eternity when time shall be no more. I'm convinced as I study in the scriptures going back to the book of Genesis, in the beginning God, the very first verse, was where was God before the beginning? Well, God is eternal. He has always been. He is I am. He is ever present. There's no past with God. There's no present. There's no future with God because everything is present tense with God. I am. He is the everlasting, eternal God. He's Alpha and Omega. He's before the beginning. He's after the end. He stretches back as far as you can see and even continues to go back. He stretches forward as far as you can see and he stretches and he continues to go forward. I mean, there is no ending or beginning with God. God is God. He is eternal. Now, what happens at the end of the millennial reign of Christ, as I said earlier, the first thing God created was time. When God stepped into time, he created time. That means there's a yesterday, there's a today, and there's tomorrow. When he created the heavens and the earth, it says at the end of each day, and that was the first day. That was the second day. That was the third day. And so we had 24-hour days. Time began for mankind and has existed for 6,000 years to this point, and then a 1,000 years during the millennial reign of Christ. But at the end of of the millennial reign of Jesus Christ, a new heaven and a new earth. A new order of things begins. And this is very important to understand. It's not that the O heaven and the earth is totally, absolutely destroyed. We believe there's a renovation. There's a renewal of the earth. And Jesus used the word pass away often, not speaking of annihilation, but speaking of the fact that it is now it, no more in existence as it was before. A good verse is, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creation. That doesn't mean that the old creation has totally, absolutely passed away, but it's been made new. It's a new creation, a new nature, a new character. And that's what happens in eternity when everything is made new. And actually the Greek word new speaks of the fact new in character. And so that's what we believe is going to take place. The old earth is going to be cleansed by fire in Second Peter chapter 3 verses 10 through 13. And we'll probably read about that later. But today, just the fact that when we come to chapter 21, verse 1, we go from time to eternity. And we're not going to be singing in heaven for 10,000 years. We're going to be in heaven for eternity when it's an ever-present tense now. No past, 
no future. And we have a lot of days to talk about that in the next few days. So God bless and I trust that you'll be encouraged because we have something to look forward to. Take care.